So hello students, how are you all? I welcome you all on Vedantu India's largest online learning platform. About myself, yes, this is me, Vavavi Singh. And about my qualification background, I have done my graduation in geography honors, and again I am pursuing my masters from English literature subject and in the same college. Okay. And about my teaching experience, yeah, same. I have more than five years of the teaching experience, and I have taught more than ten thousand students. okay as offline and online coaching and again i was an unacademy educator i was teaching upsc csc faculty at unacademy okay and uh, i want to join uh, vedantu because uh, yes vedantu is india's largest online learning platform and again i wanted to explore my knowledge to amongst all you uh, uh, students so that's why i want to make all the complex topic very easy for you in my manner right so yes again what are the topics for the today okay so you can see here social studies class 9th okay class 9 social studies uh, that is geography okay geography book you can see here ncert geography book okay so there are uh, how uh, there are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 chapters are here okay so uh, chapter number 1 which is india size and location and chapter number 2 which is physical features of india and chapter number 3 which is drainage chapter number 4 which is climate and chapter number 5 which is natural vegetation and wildlife and last chapter that is population chapter number 6 okay so there are six chapters in ncert for class 9th geography okay so uh, we'll discuss chapter number first okay india size and location okay so yes let's discuss okay so first of all i'm going to uh, tell you that uh, why geography why uh, why i have picked geography for you because yes i wanna uh, you know uh, geography is such a subject that you can feel or visualize in your surrounding right so yeah that is very important to understand all the complex topic okay uh, from uh, this geography subject in very easy manner and just students your teacher is here to make all the topics very easy for you right so do not worry let's start the class so yes just see just see what are the topics we are going to discuss in the session that is india size and location india's position in the world and again india's neighboring countries okay so start from india size and location so just see what the means of india size and location if uh, your teacher is sitting here and you are also sitting there okay so just you have to know what are the exact location in in our country you uh, you live right so that that uh, you know come from you know that uh, you know chapter okay see india is one of the oldest civilization in the world and it has a remarkable history you can see here right again it has made remar remarkable progress in this field right in during five decades if you can see whether it is the field of agriculture whether whether it is the field of industries and again technologies right india has made remarkable progress right again that has been overall economic development of india where does our uh, india exist in the world this question arises in your mind that ma'am just tell me that where does our india exist in the world in the whole world right okay let's see see i am going to tell you india's location just see this line this line is known as 0 degree equator and it divides india into two parts okay into two parts which is first one is northern hemisphere and second one is the southern hemisphere theek hai okay and again india is very vast country which lies in the northern hemisphere you can see here india lies in the asia okay again if you can see we if we have to understand india's location so we have to just understand the longitudes and latitudes okay so what are the longitudes what are the longitudes this line if you can see this this these are imaginary vertical lines okay 
if it is talking about longitude if it is talking about equator or if it is talking about latitude these all lines are imaginary lines there are no such lines exist in the earth okay so yes longitude is imaginary line uh, imaginary vertical lines if you can uh, just if you have orange and just peel it you can see this type of you know this type of pieces vertical lines that are called the longitude and again what is latitude so latitude are the imaginary horizontal line you can see these are the horizontal lines okay so these are called the latitudes so with the help of longitude and latitude okay you can find the exact location of any country whether it is india okay so india's location longitude and latitude of india we have discussed again it's time to discuss the location so if you can see here india main land lies between latitude which is 8 degree 4 minute north okay you can see here this is the latitude i have already told you students i have already told you students that these lines are called latitudinal lines horizontal horizontal line and our india exist 8 degree 4 minute north to 37 degree 6 minute north okay that the latitudes okay and again our india lies 68 degree 7 minute east and 97 degree 25 minute east at longitudes okay again again if you can see india's north and south this line you can see north and south extent that is 3214 km and east to west extension that is 22933 km okay and again if you can see here this is total earth map okay you can see here and this zero degree line are called the equator and one line that is tropic of cancer okay which divides india into two almost equal parts right you can see this is india just see this is india and here india is divided into two equal parts okay so tropic of cancer divides india into two equal parts and that is 23 degree 30 minute north okay tropic of cancer lies on uh, at 23 degree and 30 minute north okay again if you can see here this is india and i have already told you that tropic of cancer divide india into two equal parts and if you can see here toward the southeastern part of the mainland of india okay andaman and nicobar island lies in the bay of bengal okay again again you can see here southwest okay position of india's mainland there are uh, you know lakshadweep islands lies in the arabian sea okay so yes it is very easy to understand and again india size okay we have discussed about the location and now size so total land mass of geographical area of india that lies in 3.28 million square kilometer okay and again 2 point which is 2.4% of total geographical area of the world okay and if talking about the area wise so india lies on the seventh largest country india is that is seventh largest country and if it is talking about the land boundary which is land boundary is 15200 km okay and the total length of coast line of uh, you know mainland including andaman and lakshadweep this okay which is 7516.6 km okay so you can see the northwest north and northeastern this part you can see okay india are bounded by himalayas young fold mountains okay and again uh, you know that is uh, why it is called young fold mountains we will discuss in the next chapter because it has formed you know um, before million of years so that's why and south of 22 degree this is 22 degree it starts it begins to narrow and extend toward the indian ocean okay and again india size okay just see here you can see here from east to west that is the distance is 30 degree and again from north to south again that is 30 degree okay 
बट वाई द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज डिस्टेंसेस ओके वाई ईस्ट एंड वेस्ट एक्सटेंशन आर स्मॉलर देन नॉर्थ साउथ यू कैन सी हियर दैट इज टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड थर्टी थ्री एंड दिस इज थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड फोर्टीन ओके वाई वाई इट इज हैपनिंग जस्ट सी हियर यू कैन सी हियर दीज आर द दीज आर द लैटिट्यूडनल लाइन्स ओके दीज आर द लैटिट्यूडनल लाइन्स एंड इफ यू कैन सी द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस लैटिट्यूडनल लाइन्स जस्ट गिव मी वन मिनट Just give me one minute. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Just see. If you can see here, these are the longitudinal lines. Okay. These are the longitudinal lines, and these are the latitudinal lines. Okay. If you can see here, if you can see here, you can see this. You know, distance. So. and if you can see this distance okay both distances so just these distances are same because parallel lines okay so distances become same but if you will talk about just this take this map okay okay and just draw this longitudes okay and you will find that the distance at this point and if it is uh, you know greater and if you go upward the distance will be smaller okay so that's why if you will, you will go upward distance increases uh, decreases okay again india size so if you can see here this is gujarat and this is arunachal pradesh so there uh, the distance is very greater and there is two hours time lag you can see here okay and again the sun rises in arunachal pradesh earlier earlier okay as compared to gujarat but why uh, the time both time in uh, both places are uh, you know um, come uh, you know we used to measure same we have to just discuss over standard meridian of india so it passes through uh, you know mirzapur uttar pradesh at uh, you know 82 degree uh, and 30 minute east okay again which is called the standard time for the whole country india okay again if you see the time uh, in mirzapur is 4 am so that uh, you know all places of india the time is 4 am the time will be 4 am same okay and again if we talk about india and world so yes due to such good location of india okay india is very well connected with the world okay you can see here indian ocean and india uh, you know to stabilize closest relation india can stabilize closest relation with the west asia europe africa southeast of asia and east asia okay and again if you can see if you can see uh, this you know himalayan part you can see a large passes okay from, from where ancient ancient traders passes through okay and again not even ancient traders passes through you can see here the spices upanishads ramayan panchatra the number and decimal systems also you know you know uh, transfer from here and there right for for from for, for other other countries okay spread through other countries again if you can see here domes and minarets greek sculptures okay through all whole words Again, if you can see, we'll talk about India's and neighbors. Okay, India neighbors. So first of all, Bharat ki padosi des. I want to discuss how many states and union territories. That is twenty-eight states and eight union territories. Okay, and India's neighbors. Okay, so you can see here Afghanistan. Okay, you can see here Pakistan, Nepal, here China, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, and if you can see here uh, down. Here, two states that is Sri Lanka and Maldives. Okay, so Sri Lanka, you know, Sri Lanka and Mal is separated by uh, a narrow channel, which is uh, you know formed by Palak Strait and Gulf of Mannar. Or other than while uh, Maldives Island are situated to the south of Lakshadweep. Okay, you can see here Lakshadweep in, in the south. You can see Maldives. Okay, so yes, this is all about today's class. Thank you so much, students. Bye bye. We will uh, we will meet on the next session. Okay, thank you so much.